Hello everybody, symbolic links, the easy way. What we're going to do is we're going to look at how you CD to the directory, the one with the long path, and then what you do is ln space hyphen s, then you use the back ticks, so this is all bash, and um, then you specify the destination which will be, for this example, the desktop. So just a quick note, if you add the name for the link, don't forget to add the name of your shortcut as well, not just the path to your desktop. So without further ado, let's just test it. So what we've got here is a, <laughs> a desktop. This already got the shortcut, which I've just made. So get rid of that. And I've gone into quite a long documents, forward slash pie testing, forward slash three, C3, forward slash code. So I don't want to have to type all that in. So what we do is ln minus s, then backtick pwd, followed by the path to my home directory, followed by my username, followed by desktop. So if you're on a Linux or possibly even a Mac, I don't know, you'd get something like this. And um, let's call it my link to C3. And there we see, you see it's just appeared just here. And if I click it, it takes me straight in. So it saves me having to it actually go all the way into my home directory, documents, PyTest in C3 code, blah, blah, blah. So if I do PWD here, it saved me having to type that. So you just go, if you're on Mint, you just go there, and then you just go there. And then you can start doing whatever you want. You can create a new document and so on. So yeah, hopefully that's been interesting and it saved you some time. It's um, something I often fail to do, but it saves you so much time. It really is worth getting in the habit of it. So yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you next video.